just a scrap of paper with a few lines of writing on it. There's a person we know of who paid $10,000 for it. Why? Hello, creeps. This is Peter Laurie opening the doors of the mystery playhouse. See, tonight, we've really got something for you. You're going to hear an exciting version of Somerset Moon's classic story, The Letter. Come with me to Singapore, pre-war Singapore, meeting place of a hundred races. Singapore, where the sun beats down fiercely and passionately. Crowded streets glittering in a stifling heat. But in the law office of Edward Joyce, it is pleasantly cool. Cool, that is, until the ringing of the phone, heralding the events that were to set fire to Mr. Joyce's conscience, burning their lesson into his memory forever. Hello? Hello, Joyce? Hmm? Well, now, take it easy, Robert. Nothing's worth getting excited about in this heat. But they put Leslie in jail. What? What'd you say? I know it sounds insane, but they've locked her up. Well, now, wait a minute. Now, calm down. What's all this nonsense about? What's Leslie charged with? Murder. Murder? They say she killed Jeff Hammond. Well, that's fantastic. But she admits it. That's what's so crazy about the whole thing. Listen, Joyce. Will you meet me right away before I go out of my mind? I'll see you in ten minutes here at the office. And don't worry. If Leslie's innocent, we'll straighten this ridiculous affair out in no time. Uh, now, go on with your story, Robert. Uh, Jeff Hammond came to your bungalow while you were away. He made advances to Leslie, and she shot him. Are you go on, please. But that's all there is, Joyce. What? That's, that's what's so insane about the whole thing. We've known Hammond for years. His, his plantation was right next to ours. We often had him out, out to dinner, and... Well, he always seemed such a decent chap, I just can't understand how he could have acted that way. He must have been mad. I see. Well, then, it's a clear case of self-defense, and you've nothing to worry about if your wife is telling the truth. What the devil do you mean? Now, don't get excited, Robert. Now, suppose Leslie were trying to protect someone. But why? Uh, someone she loves. You. What? Uh, well, perhaps Leslie thinks that you killed Hammond. But why should I shoot Hammond? Well, perhaps you were jealous of him. Perhaps you found them together. Perhaps. Oh, you... that's ridiculous, Joyce. I wasn't even home that night, and I can prove it. Oh, you weren't. Well, then we must accept Leslie's story. Of course. Leslie's never even looked at another man since we were married. We've been very happy. Everything was perfect until this horrible thing happened, and now... I tell you, I don't know what I'd do if I lost Leslie. Don't worry, Robert. We'll do everything we can. And the first thing that I'm going to do is... To visit the jail and get the facts from Leslie herself. Mrs. Crosby, I am uh, Edward Joyce. Your husband has retained me for your case. Oh. Oh, how do you do, Mr. Joyce? How do you do? Robert's spoken to me of you often. Uh, there are a few questions which I'd like to ask you. I realize that it's difficult for you to talk about it, but... It's quite all right, Mr. Joyce. I don't mind answering any questions. Splendid. Now, I want you to tell me exactly what happened that night. Very well. Robert had gone to Singapore on business. And I was alone for the night. Jeff dropped in for a visit, and we talked and had a few drinks. After a while, he... Well, he began to act very strangely. And then I was surprised to... to hear him say... Leslie, don't you know that I'm awfully in love with you? I don't believe you. But no, I don't even want you to say it. May I have another drink? I wouldn't drink anymore if I were you. Do you think I said I loved you because I'm drunk? Well, that's the most obvious explanation, isn't it? No. I've wanted to tell you for a long time. And now that Bob isn't here, this is my chance. Jeffrey, I think you'd better go. I'm not going. Look at me, Leslie. Jeffrey, you're making a fool of yourself. Don't you know that I've never loved anyone but Robert? You love me. 
You know you do. Let go my arm. I've wanted to do this for a long let time. Let go of me. You're drunk. I'll never let you go. I'll make you forget, Robert. Stop that. You're squeezing the breath out. I wanted to kiss your mouth, your eyes, your hair. Please don't, Jeffrey. Where do you think you're taking me? Don't fight me, Leslie. You know you love me. No, if you touch me again. What are you doing at that desk? Get away from there. There's only one way to handle you. A gun. Oh, you fool, give me that. No, I'm warning you, Jeff, if you come any closer. You wouldn't shoot, darling. Jeffrey, let go of me. Put down that gun. I said let go of me. Oh, oh. Leslie, don't. Don't shoot again. No. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. I fired and fired and until the gun was empty. Well, that's all, I guess. That is all? Yes. Yes, that's just the way it happened. I see. Well, I don't think that you have anything to fear, Mrs. Crosby. <laughs> we'll have you out of here very soon. Yes, Robert, of course. Yes. Well, as a matter of fact, my assistant, Chi Sang, is retyping my brief right now. No. No, we're absolutely prepared for the trial, and I'm sure that Leslie will be acquitted. That's right. Goodbye, Robert. Was that Mr. Crosby again? Yes, yes, that's right, Chi Sang. So upset, and after all, there's nothing to worry about. Except for this. Uh, this letter. What? What letter? This. It is a copy of one supposedly written by Mrs. Crosby. A strange man brought it. He suggests we might want to buy it. I think you had better read it, sir. Very well. Robert will be away for the night. I absolutely must see you. I shall expect you at 11. I am desperate. And if you don't come, I won't answer for the consequences. Don't drive up. Leslie. What the hell does this mean? It could mean any number of things. Why, this is nothing short of blackmail. Well, this is ridiculous. Do you think that Mrs. Crosby could have written such a letter? I don't know, Mr. Crosby. I can't believe this. Why, it must be a forgery. Who has the original? A Chinese woman who lived in Mr. Hammond's house. Oh, I see. If the original letter should be sent to the public prosecutor... But it's preposterous. Mrs. Crosby said that she hadn't written to Hammond for weeks before the shooting. If this letter is genuine... Well, I've got to find out. Mr. Joyce, surely you didn't come here to visit me in this horrible jail just to talk about Robert and his rubber plantation. Uh, Mrs. Crosby, I, uh... I think I should tell you that there exists a letter. A letter? Yes. In your handwriting to Jeff Hammond. <laughs> What of it? I've often sent him little notes to ask him to a party or a tennis match or something. Well, this letter asked him to come and see you because Robert was going to Singapore. Oh, that's impossible. I never 